Hello everybody, it's Stinks Watch back with another video here today and um <sighs> and it's way too loud. I must have the freaking back door open again. Sick and tired of these neighbours man. They piss me off. Anyway, uh this is uh, my next video in the series of top tens and this is uh, the top ten comedy uh, films. Um now there are a few that uh, just missed the grade. Um stuff like the mask and uh the original police academy were close uh, there is one film that uh, is in the list but i don't have so um because i recently sold my hd dvds but uh, i will mention it when it comes along um so first up we have one that i almost forgot about and uh, it just beats out uh, talladega nights to number 10. and that is tenacious d uh, the pick of destiny um this is a really awesome uh, Funny film, great, uh, great musical as well, and a big fan of Jack Black and Carl Gass. Can you just be a really funny band? And so, uh, you know, I know it's a bit, bit of a vulgar film compared to some others on the list, but you know, for me, uh, it's, a, it's a film I really enjoy. So uh, that's number ten. And I've followed the advice of my uh, last video to uh, not show the uh, movies until they come on. That way, it's more of a surprise to people. Uh, number nine is all that. Uh, this is the last one I actually saw in the cinema. Of course, I'll show you the last time I went out to uh, watch a film there. Um, but uh, this is my favourite of the uh, the movies that he's done. Um, although I haven't seen The Detail yet, it's, it's better than the LG one, it's better than Bruno. Although they're, they're both funny as well. Um, but I just really love the Borat character. This is a really funny documentary type comedy, you know. Um, it's, it's Quest for Pam Randerson, as, as, as many people uh, do. Uh, you know, goes uh, goes awry, but it's a really funny film. Uh, number eight is Ghostbusters, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I put this into comedy, but obviously it could go into action, really. It could go into you know uh, sci-fi in a way, but I put it into comedy. It's you know comedy classic, and and the good news is is getting a steelbook release, so I will uh, be getting rid of this soon. Oh, they're kicking the ball out. Freaking chess next. Door. Anyway, uh, right, number seven, this is actually uh, two movies, number seven, because I couldn't really separate them, uh, is Wayne's World 1 and Wayne's World 2. Um, these are region 3 from America, because they haven't released them over here, they probably won't either. Um, not that the leaders really um, do anything to enhance the film that much, but um, I think I paid about 12 quid for it, so I was pretty happy with it. Um, but uh, yeah, just really funny movies, the best that Mike Myers has ever done. Even more so, I think, than Austin Powers. So, uh, that have to go to number seven. Uh, now, at number six, it is uh, Naked Gun. Just the first one. The other two are funny, but, um, you know, I still think the original is best. And, uh, again, I don't have a, a blue ribbon. It's only the DVD, DVD trilogy. Uh, cheapy from Seeing Speech for a Fiver, but uh, definitely worth it. And uh, this is one of those films like uh, South Park that I can watch over and over again. Um, and if it is on halfway through, I will watch it to the end. Uh, number five, we have uh, two films again. Couldn't really separate them, but they're both uh, Mel Brooks, Mel Brooks classics. Uh, so we have Blazing Saddles uh, on uh, Blu-ray and on DVD. Because I don't think it's ever get a, uh, released either on Blu-ray as Robin Hood Men in Tights. Um, just both really funny films in different ways. Obviously, one uh, sending up Robin Hood, one sending up westerns. Uh, both have you know classic scenes and uh, they're just really funny in their own, own right so I couldn't really separate them so they're uh, both a joint fifth um, and, and for them to be there obviously the films that beat them have to be really something special um, so number four we have Anchorman um, and uh, yeah this is definitely the best Will Ferrell film the funniest Will Ferrell film I've seen very much looking forward to Anchorman 2 um, this release also has the uh, Wake up Ron Burgundy on it, but let's face it, it's not the best film, is it? Um, but Anchorman is, is you know, very quotable and uh, very funny, and um, I'm really, really looking forward to watching the second film when it uh, when it comes out. I think it's out next year. Might be out this year, I'm not sure. Uh, so now we get into the top three. And at number three, it's another classic from the 80s, 1980 in fact, is Caddyshack. Um, you know, grew up on this film, watched it so many times, and... Uh, you know, love the little Gopher guy. Bill Murray's character is fantastic. So is Roddy Dangerfield's. Um, you know, the Mars bar in the uh, 
swimming pools all the uh, fun moments and uh, lots of breasts as well um, which 80s comedies had to have of course um, but uh, yeah everyone was really great in this film Chevy Chase as well with his uh, strange ways of putting with his bubble all along um, so yeah just really really funny film and uh, definitely a classic so now we get to number two and as I say, there's two films at number two because I kind of couldn't um, separate them but I only have one and um, that is Monty Python's Life of Brian along with The Meaning of Life um, but I've just saw my HD DVD collection so uh, I no longer have Meaning of Life but I will be picking up a DVD set soon because it doesn't look like it's ever going to get a Blu-ray release unfortunately um, I think that's a rights issue but uh, yeah just I mean you know the Monty Python films are pretty much perfect aren't they really and uh, there's not much more I can say about them because everyone knows about those films but uh, I think Life of Brian is just ahead of Meaning of Life for me but Meaning of Life is very funny as well. Uh, but they're joint second, so what can beat that? Well, uh, this film is a certainly, I think, my brother's favourite film ever. It's one of my favourite films. It's definitely my favourite comedy film. And uh, it was released in 1994. It stars Jim Carrey. And it's not The Mask. Uh, although that was close. That, that, that could have just, just made it in the top ten. Uh, Jeff Daniels as well. As well as, uh, Lloyd Christmas and Harry Dunn. Uh, again, really, really fun film. Instantly quotable. Uh, also gave us Lauren, Ho Lauren Holly for the first time. It looks stunning. And it is, of course, Dumb and Dumber. Um, you know, just a perfect comedy film. Slapstick. Um, you know, a little bit of romance in there as well. It's it's a great a road movie. It's a buddy movie. And uh, this is the uncut edition as well. Um, I can't really remember what they added to it. I think. It just maybe also a few scenes added, but uh, just oh, yeah, a really funny film. A great finish as well uh, to the movie. Um, just when you think that their look is changed, uh, it, they show how dumb they are. Unfortunately, this wins another award for which is for a worst sequel ever because uh, no matter what other comedy films out there, uh, and no matter how bad some of those um, you know Police Academy films were or the later American Pies, nothing beats Dumb and Dumber. Uh, when Harry met Lloyd for just a terrible, terrible sequel, um, and that even it's even worse than *Sing the Mask*. So um, that's the only downside to that. So there you go. That's the uh, top ten-ish uh, for comedies, and I'll be back very soon. I'm going to do another video um, if it's a bit quiet, and uh, that will be uh, top ten Asian films. Um, I'm not going to be doing *Total Recall* today because it hasn't come. I haven't had any posts yet, and it's half past two so uh, it looks like it's going to be a week for Total Recall to get here uh, but I'll do that video tomorrow uh, as long as it's here tomorrow so until next time take care